Welcome back to Software Inc, everybody. I hope you're having a good one because I am excited to be back. Which I realize is a relatively redundant way to introduce a video. It's not like I'm going to start the video and be like, Welcome back to Software Inc, everybody. I hope you're having a good one because I'm miserable and I don't want to be here. And I suppose that would be a lie because I'm actually really enjoying everything that we're doing with Software Inc right now. It's a really fun time and it's really interesting seeing how Nerdrosoft is developing as a company. A billion dollar company company might I add. Now, there are a few things that I want to get started on today, and for the most part, it's going to be a whole lot of upgrading, because as it turns out, and as we have discovered, we do have some better servers available to us, and right now, the only server that's having any issue is the distribution server. It's a 74% load, which, I mean, really, that's not an issue. It's just the one server that has the most stress on it. So, we could probably improve that a little bit by upgrading some of our servers. And I think, to be honest, that is exactly what I'm going to get started by doing. So let's go in and rip all those guys out. Let's go into build mode. Let's get ourselves some servers. And we've got the big server rack. So this thing is just going to be one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we'll get a few more of them just here as well. And if I go ahead and I grab all of these guys and I grab all of these guys, I think I can connect them together. And I just want to make sure, did that did did that upgrade my server at all? That's the question. Yeah. Wow. That's, um, that really did. <laughs> that really, that was actually quite a remarkable upgrade. Good Lord. Okay. So I kind of want to do that again, but I'm also not sure that we need to, because I feel like that server, I feel like the distribution server is probably doing all right now. So, oh my God, what is this? What, oh my God, our source control server is still running on these things. <laughs> oh my God. All right, hold on a minute. Let's upgrade those to like those at the very least. I didn't even realize that was, wow, hold on a minute. What are the servers downstairs then? Oh, they're fine. Okay, so that's good. What are the servers in this building? Okay, all right, we're good. So <laughs> everything's, everything's fine. There's nothing to worry about. The servers are... They're, they're decent. All right, so the servers have been upgraded, but that's that's not the only thing I want to upgrade because I also want to go in and start working on better things. I've talked a little bit already about how I want to start ignoring wasted interest when it comes to our products. So what I think we're going to do, and this might be a little risky, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go and make a sequel to Nerd OS 2. And... We're going to make this the most advanced operating system that it can possibly be. So we're going to call it Doors, which I know a few people have been interested in whether or not I'm going to bring Doors back. Well, we're doing it. We're bringing it back. It's going to be the successor to Nerd OS. We're going to make Doors. We are going to give it an existing framework. Probably not. It's going to tech level of 99. So we'll give it a new framework. We'll go for Door... Uh, pff, door Core. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The Hinge. Is, is what we'll go for there. The hinge, because it's doors, get it? Anyway, or the handle. Ooh, I, I, I kind of prefer the handle. I'm going to be honest. Hinge is one of those words that is not dissimilar to another word. That's, it's just one of those words that like is, ugh, you know? So we'll go with the handle. And uh, <laughs> and that's that's a good name. We're just, we're just going to give it everything that the previous one had for a second here, because I want to see, yeah, 41% expected interest already but what i want to do is i want to give this absolutely everything we're going to give it everything that we can possibly give it except for microphone surveillance because that might get us in some trouble and it's it's going to take approximately six years to make this thing which is a ridiculous amount of time and you know what i might put this in a project i might i think project management is what we're going to do here I think that would be a pretty good idea. You weren't a team leader? No. Okay. I think we're going to project manage it. Now, what do we need for this? We need system. We need 2D, 3D audio, and networking. Okay. So, I don't... There's project management right there. So, this is going to be our um, operating systems team, I guess, is, is what we're going to call this. Uh, the leader, I think, can be me, I guess, is, is what it'll be. And uh, we're going to need some, we need 2D, 
We need 3D. We need networking. We need systems. And probably audio, I think, was the other one. So that's going to give all of those guys those jobs. And then we need to go 2D, 3D, audio, network, and systems for that one as well. The secondary dev team is going to be none because it's kind of a, it's, it's not really necessary. Uh, the support teams are going to be obviously uh, the support teams right there when we have updates off of it. Pre-marketing is going to be our marketing teams, which is beautiful. Most marketing is going to be the exact same setup. And then for the updates, that's the update team. Source control is source control. Prototype software, I guess NerdOS 2 is what we'll go for. Unless I can select multiple, which I don't think I can. So the prototype is NerdOS 2. The server for hosting it is Nerdsoft Hosting. Dev time, I'm going to say, is 150%. Iteration cooldown is... What exactly is that? How many months to wait between iterations in the alpha stage? I like that we can do that. I think that's kind of cool, because it means your teams could work on other things at the same time. But we'll do zero. Uh, updates, update tech levels, I guess, is whatever. Update cycle is three. I can't change that, which is a bit odd, but okay. Uh, we'll do hype, auto development, etc., etc., single IP, use on licenses, post marketing, handle marketing, and I can't seem to change those either. That might be a. I wonder if my game's bugged. That's that's a weird one, but that's fine. Maybe we can change it later once we assign something to it. So that's going to be the operating systems team essentially. And then what I need to do is go in here. I'm going to pause the game real quick, and it is. Well, we could make it subscription based, but that seems a little bit. That seems a little bit silly. Uh, so, doors, the handle, next, next, auto balance, I guess, next, and we project manage with the operating systems team. So now, doors is in the design phase. So that's going to take forever, but it is, at the very least, going to be this ridiculously complex, in-depth operating system, the likes of which the world may have never seen before which is kind of what we're going for. So we have that going, right? That is going to be the most advanced thing we have ever made. I'm pretty sure, though, we're doing the same thing with Captain Murder Stab 5. If I remember right, and I say that because I've... I've oh, man, I, if I, I could tell you about the couple of days I've had... I've been working on this project, right? I've been working on this little project. You might know of a thing called 5M. It's how people do all that GTA roleplay stuff on Twitch. I've been working with a team of people... Funnel. This is relevant to Software Inc, by the way, because it involves developing. We've been working on our own our own little project there. And uh, if you're interested in that, go follow me on Twitter. I'm not going to try and promote it here. But it's just been very, very stressful. We just launched and it was very successful, but it was very, very stressful. So just, yeah, it's, it's, it's a whole thing. Uh, the reason I bring that up is because, I'll be honest, I don't remember exactly what I talked about in the last episode. And... Going back and watching my videos, I watch them during the edit. I don't watch them when they hit YouTube because I when I when I when I'm watching YouTube, it's usually on a TV. I don't usually watch it on my computer. So I don't like to be like laying in bed. I bring up YouTube and then I just get my own voice going, Welcome back to Software Inc. everybody. It's it's a bit weird. <laughs> Although I have just remembered that I don't have as many action points as everybody else. It looks like I'm gonna be kind of limited there. So let's. So Graham Sykes is running Captain Murder Stab. Sarah Huffman is doing that. Let's grab one of our other founders to lead the Doors project. And I guess we could go with like. Well, apparently we can't go with Rose. Oh, it has to be a team leader, doesn't it? Ooh, okay. I don't know. I don't know if it's relevant. Linwood Carroll, perhaps? I don't know if it really matters. Tanya Peterson, perhaps? I, again, I've got no idea. Uh, Graham Sykes would be a good shout. He is a founder. I, I'd like it to be me. I'll be honest. I would like it to be me. Is it is it possible that I can get some education here? Is is that a thing? Educate? No. All right. Okay. Why, why can I not be educated? Is it my leadership skill? Automation. Ah, that's, that's why, uh, that's why we can't do it. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to need to put someone else on that that actually can handle it. Rosie is not a team leader. Beverly is not a team leader. So I think Linwood Carroll is going to have to lead the operating systems team. So Linwood Carroll, go ahead. And then we can go in here and we can start editing things. So my game wasn't bugged. I'm an idiot. 
is uh, is what it is. Uh, physical copies at launch. Let's do 250,000 of them. And so that's going to be ordered. No, 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 no. Let's do this and we do zero. So we'll print 250,000 of them. And actually, you know what? I'm banking on this thing being good. I'm going to say print 1 million copies of that once it uh, gets to a stage where that can be a thing. All right. So that's been sorted. The Enphone 3 is very near the end of its uh, development stage. So let's let's keep an eye on that. Let's see how quickly it goes through the percentages. And if it's going through pretty quick, which it looks like it is, I think we're going to try and aim for... Can we get 92 per... Can we get 92 today? I'm going to say, when did the Enphone 2 come out? Enphone 2 was October 2006. It's been almost six years. Let's do the Enphone 3 in... You know what? Let's say uh, Q2 2013. So we'll market this guy 2013. We're going to say April 2013. We'll hit release on that. We'll go ahead and start drawing up a press release for it. We'll not bother doing any press builds. And we'll go ahead and hype it as well. Just to make sure we don't start losing followers. So we'll see what happens there. Alice Howell has retired. That's okay. I'm not super stressed about it. I am a little stressed about more people retiring, though. That's fine. Okay. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I'll tell you what I'm also going to do. And this is a little change I've been thinking about for a while. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change these reception areas. So let me go into manage staff. Let me sort by receptionist. And I'm going to dismiss all of you is what I'm going to do. Because as it stands... What I kind of want to do is I want to pull out these reception desks and I can do the same over here, but I'm just going to copy and paste the two room layouts. I'm basically going to move security. So we need to go into build mode to do this. I'm going to move security and I'm going to say security desk there and security desk there. So as you come into the building, you've got security on either side of you. And then we can move these benches a little bit. I'm also going to grab these. And essentially, the reason I'm doing this is I want to change the main building here from being a sort of public space to sort of being like strictly for people that we employ. Whether that's as developers or as general staff is not really relevant, but it's just it's it's strictly for employees is what we're going for. And I'm also realizing I could, if I really wanted to, uh, go ahead and change up the way these carpets are done. I could. I definitely could. Um, let's 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 see what we want to do here. Let's let's have a little look and see what kind of what kind of design we can go for. And there we go. I think this looks a little bit better. We got this carpet thing going the whole way through the building. We got our security at either side of the doors. We have some new couches. We have some new flooring. I think it just looks a little better. It's still very noticeably like a reception space, but it's not a visitor reception space, and that's kind of what we don't want it to be. So what I'm going to do is, oh God, I've never looked at the thing really from this direction, at least not often. Uh, what I'm going to do is say that this is going to be our main reception now. And I'm going to do that in two ways. Uh, number one is obviously by removing the other reception, but I'm also going to duplicate the Nerdsoft logo. And I want to put it on this back wall because I think that's going to look so good. I love the paintings. I love the pictures. I love the cat. Nerdsoft cat, uh, Nerdsoft cat, software ink cat is frankly amazing but i also kind of want to do this and it's really really tilting me that i can't i can't get it central <laughs> why can't i get it central <laughs> never mind i'm an idiot i forgot that you can hold alt to move things back and forth across a wall so we have the logo back there i changed some colors in here it's a little bit more minimalist but i think that's fine also minimalist is a really fun word to say when you sort of hold the uh you, you hold the the M at the start of it, minimalist, it's, it's, I recommend it. Say it out loud. Even, even if you're watching this video on public transport with people around you, just sit there and loudly say to yourself the word minimalist. They'll probably not look at you weird at all. That's, that's probably fine. Don't worry about it. Anyway, that is going to be our main reception. And what I'm going to do, because I think this is a part of a room group. It is, it's a part of support building, I think. Uh, so at least it should be a part of the support building, um, support building. 
I think it, I think it already was. Yeah, everything's part of the support building. So what I'm going to do is I am going to hire two receptionists and they are going to be assigned to the support building. Then I'm going to hire two more receptionists and they are going to come in at, I guess, 1 p.m. They are also going to be assigned to the support building. And I'm going to go ahead and hire some cleaning specifically to work in the support building, just to try and stop people from complaining about the fact that the building is filthy. So we should have you two who are going to be assigned to the support building exclusively. And I'm going to set one of you to come in at, uh, at one. So we kind of have two people dedicated to that building at all times. So that should keep it nice and clean. That should stop people from complaining. And this is now the main Nerdrasoft reception which is maybe a bit weird, but it'll do. It'll be okay. In fact, you know what I'm thinking of doing? I'm thinking of changing a little bit further. I want to get rid of this door because I want to go and get this sign and I want to put it like in here. I think it would look so good there, like straight through the door, straight to the Nerdrasoft sign. And then I need to figure out where the doors themselves are actually going to go. So, I mean, I guess what we could do here is potentially lower the size of the grid. So if I bring the grid down to half size, in theory, I could do that. But I would have to sort of rebuild this entire room, I think, in order to, well, do that. Which is a bit of a shame, unless I can get away with that, which I can't. Okay, can I get away with this? No. Okay, can I get away with this? No. This? Uh, I don't think it's gonna I don't think it's gonna let me somehow. Oh, I can do that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh <laughs> let's merge this. And then can I do a wall that goes right here? Absolutely. Okay, so then we merge these guys. And that's where the door is gonna go. So I need to do that again, basically. It's a bit of a weird way to do things, but it's the <laughs> it's the way I'm gonna do them, so merge those and then we get a wall across here we merge those spaces and then we can just sort of do like an arch right there and an arch right there and suddenly we have the nerdrasoft logo right front and center i think it looks pretty good i mean i actually i want to put spotlights below that and there we go i think that looks pretty decent we do still have people pathing through the wall right now because there used to be a door there but i think the room looks pretty good i'm i'm quite happy with that so that's gonna do for our new reception and that should start working in the morning and uh it is gonna limit the number of people that can actually bring us deals but we haven't really been taking all that many deals recently anyway so i'm not really too worried about it and there we go we have a receptionist we should have two of them but whatever i it's it's fine we have we have is that the other receptionist no okay we have a receptionist it's fine some of your electronics are being affected by the heat. This room is not cold enough, which is a terrifying thought. Are these things being overwhelmed? 91%. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, so it might not be a case that the rooms aren't cold enough. It might just be a case that uh, we need more fans in the rooms. So... Oh, there's... Is there, like, no ventilation? Oh. Oh, there is ventilation. Are those... Those don't look like they're... Well, maybe there's not. Maybe there's, maybe these things aren't enough for these giant uh, servers. So what we can do is throw a vent right there. And we can throw a vent right there. And we can throw a vent right there. And that'll hopefully help with that complaint. It seems like it certainly has. So that's nice. Okay. So those are now working fine. These guys are 91% capacity, 18.2. I think we're doing okay there. So not bad not bad at all let's i guess try and focus on getting this marketing done for nphone 3 and all these port jobs as well and then i guess nphone 3 goes out next year it's gonna be a big year it's gonna be a good year the inbox controller has run out of stock and we're losing sales that's frustrating are we still making money on that okay stabby face just stop making money let's stop marketing that inbox and inbox controller are sort of making money so let me sort by release dates just to make sure not as many active users as i'd like that's a little bit annoying but let's 
take a look at distribution, inbox controller. We can do a lot. I guess let's bring the limit on that. Let's let's double it to 150,000. And I think all of my couriers are doing what they need to be doing. I think we're getting enough things out there. I sincerely hope that we're getting enough things out there. I'll be slightly frustrated if we're not. I'm also wondering if it would be worth maybe pushing some of the product over into this or up to the helicopter. Because we haven't used the helicopter yet. And I feel like we should. I feel like I'm missing out by not using a helicopter. So maybe... Well, we'd have to... Well, I, I can sort of see how we would do this, actually. Obviously, we're going to have to bring some... Uh, We'd have to bring some conveyor belts through this office here, which isn't ideal, but it does present an opportunity for something kind of cool. So let's let's have a little bit of fun here. Let's take all of that out and let me go and do, let me reset the grid as well. So grid reset, let me do this. So I want a bit of wall right there and that's completely inaccessible and that's okay. I'm gonna put a door here so it is accessible. And what I, hmm. Okay, the door might need to be... The door might need to be elsewhere. The door might need to be here. Because what I'm thinking we do is we... Hmm. I, I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to try and figure it out. Uh, what I'm thinking we do is we go to distribution. We're going to put this guy right there. So that's... Oh, wait. That's, not, that's absolutely not going to work. Okay. Uh, the door might need to move again. We'll figure out the door in a second. This guy's going to go here. All right. So that guy lives there. And then what we need to do is go down a floor. And I'd like this one to be here, but I can't do it. So it's going to have to be here instead. Which I I guess is fine. We're going to go ahead. We're going to put a splitter right here. Wait, no, this isn't the final assembly. Oh, God, hold on. Final assembly's over. Oh, why did I do it this way? <laughs> why did I do it this way? Um, Can I make this happen i think i can all right so let's move the recycler back one and let's put a splitter here and then we need a conveyor belt that goes like this and we're gonna raise it up and just like that we have this ridiculousness so what's going on is after final assembly things will get split they'll get sent up onto these conveyor belts they'll come around down into this thing upstairs into this space then up here and basically, they're going to go straight through into a conveyor belt that takes them up to a helicopter. Because, of course, it does. Now, I like this. I I love this. I think this is the coolest thing, having helicopters to take our products. I'm even going to go so far as, as putting some storage up here so that we can have products getting regularly taken away by helicopter. And if we look downstairs... I don't think we're going to see any printing right now because there's not a lot of demand for it. Also, none of you guys were leaders, were you? No, we're good. Okay. So basically, we now have access to helicopter transport for the products. And these guys can see the product through that little window. That's literally all I wanted. That's that's literally it. That, that was the entire plan here. And I guess I should... I guess I could, I could put another TV on, like, this wall. It seems a little unnecessary but we'll do it they got another tv that wasn't a team leader so that's fine i think it looks good i think it looks pretty cool i kind of want to see some products actually go to the helicopter i want to see the helicopter i also don't know if i have to like you know hire a helicopter i don't know how it necessarily works but we'll figure it out now this is printing which is good Oh, it is sending products up. Look at that. I want to see it go through here. It's very dark in there. I haven't actually bothered to put any lights in, but that's, that's kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool. Just out of the corner of your eye, you can just see these like products going by. I could if I really wanted to, of course. You know, put a little light right there. So there is some light in the room. But the reason we don't have more than that is simply because the, uh, the mechanics wouldn't be able to get there. Unless, I mean, I could do... I could do that, I guess. A little bit of light. Maybe we make it something like uh, kind of a blue, I guess. Just to make it interesting. So like a kind of blue there. And then what does it look like? It's not, wait, it's not, the light's not going to be on because no one's in the room. 
never mind. I'm an idiot. Okay. All right, so there's no lights. Where do these products go? Oh my God, they just sit on the helipad. Where I need, I need to see the helicopter. I need to see the helicopter. This is ridiculous. Oh my, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was kind of great. I'm going to be honest. Anyway, the next thing I want to get done here is I, I want to start bringing some of our software back a little bit uh, because it's been a while since we released Vector. I mean, we did we did Vector Studio a couple of years ago, but I, I want to get away, I think, from... Wait a minute. Vector Studio did $48 million in profit? Hold on a minute. They... Ampl 15, wait a minute. Now, hold on a minute. So, so they actually did make pretty good profits. Now, not necessarily as much as the non-studio versions and not as much as Amplitude uh, did before it was a studio version, but that's not bad. That is, that is not bad. I, I don't, I don't mind that kind of profit coming in. What are we looking at for subscription stuff right now? Four million. So it is, it is coming down at this point. So... I'm, I'm thinking I want to make some project managed stuff for those as well, right? I think I want to get some more teams going here for project management. So we have, you know, we have our operating system team here. We have Captain Motor Stab. We have Horse Simulator. I think we want a Vector, a Vertex, and an Amplitude team. And I think they can continue to be called, you know, Vector Studio, Vertex Studio, and Amplitude Studio. It's just going to be Amplitude Studio 2. And also, there was a suggestion on my Discord to name Amplitude. The sequel should have been like Amplitude. Uh, I, I, yeah, uh, I, it was, I, I'll be honest. I'm disappointed that I didn't come up with that myself, and I absolutely should have done that. Next time around, next time we get around to Software Inc., absolutely going to be doing that. Now... We're going to have to set up a lot of project management is, is what we're going to have to do. And I'm going to have to do this hand in hand with some development. So let's take a look and see what we can do. Uh, we also probably want to get into office software, but we can circle back to that. Now, uh, this is going to be a successor to Vector Studio. So it's Vector Studio 2. And essentially, we're just going to throw everything at it. We're going to have a lot of wasted interest, but we're going to throw everything. It's not going to be subscription based. It's, it's whatever, uh, the price can be 75 bucks. It's going to be a new framework, which is the, I guess the vector we'll do like, we'll do it like this vector studio, I guess we'll just do that. Just do vector studio, all one word, lowercase first letter. Cause we're edgy like that. So approximately three years, approximately three years to do that is, is fine by me. Uh, in terms of operating systems, I don't know how much this necessarily matters, but we'll go for pretty much those guys right there. And I think that's fine. I mean, it's going to be assigned to project management, so I don't, I don't know if it really makes a difference, but that's okay. And we need 2D and system for this. So if we go to project management and we do the, this is the vector uh, team. So the leader on this, we need to find a good leader. Now, Beverly Pope could be a lead designer. I don't know if it matters. I think we just need a good team leader to do this kind of stuff. So, Leona Hoffman, I guess. We'll, we'll kind of throw you at it and we'll see if we can get you as a team leader. I don't know that we can. Uh, no, we can't. So, let's throw Tanya Peterson at this. I think Tanya's going to let us do... Wait, isn't Tanya doing something else? Did I give Tanya the operating systems thing? No. Okay, so Tanya isn't heading up anything else so tanya peterson can run this as a part of the systems team and then essentially all we need to do is assign our uh, 2d teams and our uh, systems teams and that's all we're going to need for this and that's fine okay so the vector team has been set up and i've gone in and changed the update thing a little bit so we're going to release updates every three months and how long after release to continue releasing updates i'm going to say is three instead of 12 because i think that might mean that we're pushing for updates more regularly i don't know i don't know if that's going to benefit us or make things worse but it's what we're going to try and do and uh essentially 
we are going to give this to the vector team. So the vector team is now working on Vector Studio 2. It is queued. It'll be in the, the, the design phase, 150% uh, development time, and that is okay. Now, going down the list, this is now in the design phase. Next phase, 2015, October, aiming for a February 2022 release on doors. That's actually... That's that's 10 years. That's They're expecting 10 years. Although, admittedly, it is 150% dev time on six years. So, fair enough. Uh, this guy right here is going into alpha next August with a 2017 release on Captain Motor Stamp 5. And then for Horse Simulator, January 2013 for alpha. March 2015 for release on Horse Sim 5. And then Vector, I mean... We have no idea at this point. So that's going to be, that's going to be a whole thing, but that's okay. That's, that's fine. I realize we've barely passed any time whatsoever. And I feel like I've just been really busy getting all these different uh, projects going, but I'm excited because this is, this is late game software Inc. Now we're starting to optimize. We're starting to automate. We're starting to put our teams to work, doing more things. And this way I don't have to go in and tell them, Hey, do this, do that and do the other. The updates will be automatic the development will be automatic and it means i can have some fun building more stuff and it also means i can have fun going in and making weird things now because the rest of my teams are of course working on the core of the company so let's get vertex and amplitude set up with some project management as well and just like that we have all of the projects going so we have the vector team working on vector studio 2 which i think is slowly getting there we have, in theory, the Vertex team doing the same thing with Vertex Studio 2. We will have the Amplitude team doing the same thing with Amplitude Studio 2. So all of those have been set up with the necessary teams. They have all been set up with the support and marketing that they're going to need. So in theory, we are going to have a very, very good time moving forward with all of those things coming out regularly. Now, Amplitude Studio 2 is not going to be using the most up-to-date uh, 2D editor, which is a component of that thing. So hopefully that means supported operating systems for Amplitude 2 no longer have users to sell to. That's fine. And you guys signed my deal. Lovely. Basically, we should see some things happening in, hopefully, the not-too-distant future, such as, you know, Doors is now coming along. Uh, in terms of Vector Team, they are... It is queued. So they're not actually working on it right now. In terms of Vertex, it is also queued. I think it's going to take a little while, a couple of months before these things actually go into active development. But that's fine by me because as it stands, we have the Enphone 3 getting ready to uh, to head out there. So let's start printing this thing on the Enphone line. We're going to do, I'm going to do 200,000, I think, of uh, of this thing. It's kind of expensive to do, but... Whatever. We don't have that many followers is kind of the problem. So we'll go ahead and send out a press build. We'll see what happens. We'll go ahead and send out a another press release and see what happens there. And hopefully it'll be good. Also, we're about to be done porting all of these things down here, which is very exciting. Uh, in terms of money, Inbox still making money. Controller making money. Captain Motor Stab. They're all making money. The subscriptions are starting to fall off a little bit. But at the very least, they're all making money. So I'm not really going to complain. Oh, that is a bad time for Linwood Carroll to resign. That was my operating systems team leader. Oh, man. So the 3D team, the day shift 3D team needs a new leader. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what do I need you to have? I need you to not have the flu. And I need you to... Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, I kind of need you to be a fast learner, I think. So we'll go for that. We're going to begin looking. I need someone for the 3D day shift. You've got normal compatibility. You can't do HR, though. I need someone that can do HR and automation. That's that's kind of the big, the big want right here is HR and automation. So it's going to have to be... Pat oh, no. Patricia Moreno who has very bad compatibility with the team. All right. Okay. What if we say that we are going to accept applicants that are going to bring the plague into the place? Um, let's give that a shot. 
I suppose. What about special? I want, yeah, I want HR and automation. That's what I'm looking for. Both of those. Uh, I would like good compatibility with a 3D day shift, please. And let's begin looking. Okay. So that's a bit better. We, we have some people that can now do the things that I want them to do. So let's go for Carlo Collins. You're going to be hired to that team. And what we're going to have to do is put Carlo on this. I don't know how experienced Carlo is going to be, but it's what we're doing. So let's sort by name, 3D day shift employees. Uh, Carlo, congratulations. Welcome to the company and uh, welcome to your job as a team leader. So you uh, you enjoy that there, bud, is, is what you're going to be doing. All right. So now I need to go to options and Carlo is who I'm looking for to head up the operating systems team. That might be a bad idea, but at the very least, he can automate things, so it's okay. We also have a good number of followers for the uh, the end phone, and it's finally in beta. So that's good. That is, that is very good news. We'll have plenty of time to fix some bugs on it. We are printing some copies as well. There are 200,000 in stock, which is lovely. So hopefully... I mean, the first one sold, let's, let's see, first one was 900,000, this one was 1.5 million. The inbox is not selling as much as I'd like, but it is making money, so all in all, we're doing okay. Let's also move the end phone up to there so I can actually see what's going on. Are we making money again? We are. Okay. All right. Really bad time to lose a team leader, but I'm sure we'll manage, although I think it does mean that, yeah, the stats, oh, that is, that is probably going to delay the operating system, isn't it? At least it was early on. It would have been a disaster if if the uh, if the leader left towards the end of the project. An employee has filed a formal complaint. Why? What are you complaining about? There's nothing to do. Oh, you're on the games team. What do you mean there's nothing to do? There's nothing. Wait, what are you? You feel uncomfortable? Oh, here's here's a bonus. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, they're going to be complaining about there being nothing to do because right now we're designing all of the things or we're at least plan yeah we're designing all of the things that you're going to be doing nothing to do nothing to do uh. all right vector studio is in design at the very least it'll be releasing in may of 2018 or it's planning to vertex june of 2019 okay and amplitude let's take a little bit of a look here i don't care about that amplitude is not queued up right now which is probably fair enough. I'm not super stressed about that. Michael George, not to be confused with George Michael, is hopefully going to get that thing going today. I would certainly hope so. I would really hope that this thing actually gets into the design phase today and they start working on it. But eh, I'm sure I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure they'll, they'll get there with it. Anyway, we've got more important things going on. End phone is out in two months. I hope it sells. <laughs> I really hope it sells. I'm going to be annoyed. Oh, please tell me you weren't a team leader. Oh, good. Okay. All right. We haven't lost anyone important yet. Also, now that I think about it, can I, by any chance, port Horse Simulator 4 to the End phone 3? I absolutely can. Now, let me sort by release date real quick. There's nothing super exciting there. So let's let's port it to the end phone. Let's port uh, Captain Motor Stab over there as well. We're going to port all of our old games to the new end phone, essentially. And we're going to hope that, uh, that it does good for us. So we'll bring Captain Motor Stab 2 over as well. We'll bring the original Captain Motor Stab over. And that'll be, that'll be a whole thing. In fact, the original Captain Motor Stab... I'm going to be honest. I'm tempted to port it to modern systems. I'm very tempted to port it to modern systems. It doesn't seem it doesn't seem like it'd be a bad idea. Let's uh let's let's have a look here. So Captain Motor Stab's down there at the bottom. Let's sort by release date. Let's just port it to Let's port it to anything with a lot of users, I guess. So anything with a hundred thousand or more. Like Int OS has four million users there. So anything with a hundred thousand users or more, we're gonna bring Captain Motor Stab to it. Captain Motor Stab 2 is fine. It's not supported in a lot of those systems. Captain Motor Stab 3 is going to go to a few new systems as well. 
Horse Simulator 3 could go to those systems. Captain Motor Stab 4 could absolutely go to that system. And Horse Sim 4 could go to a couple of systems as well. We actually didn't have Horse Sim 4 on Nerd OS 2. Interesting. We didn't have it on our latest operating system. That's that's a bit of a failing of the company, I think. And just like that, it is April 2013, which means we are going to be releasing the Enphone 3, which is exciting. It's 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 been a minute. It's been a minute since we did uh, since we put out an Enphone. It has been just over a year since our last release, which was a console, and before that, it was a few months since Horse Simulator. We're not releasing things as much as I'd like. I'm going to be honest. That's the other reason I want to get these projects going. I want more regular releases from the company. So hopefully the projects do that. Now, let's release Enphone 3. 566 bugs have been fixed. What do they think of it? The grand score is going to be... 5 stars, 4 stars, and 5 stars. I'll take it. Now, let's give this thing a marketing budget deserving of the... And phone three, which is our first blue phone, by the way. Everything the other first one was uh, burgundy, the second one was gold. This one's blue with our biggest screen ever. Let's give it a marketing budget. I'm gonna say three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. It is our biggest marketing budget so far, and we'll see if it ends up being worth it. Now it might mean that we need to go in and uh, ever so slightly rebalance some of these guys so inbox can come down a little bit the inbox controller can come down a little bit i i'm i'm not 100 percent sure that uh we're ever going to spend that three hundred and fifty thousand dollars in a given day i'm a little concerned it's going to slow down all of my other marketing projects as well we might actually need to get more marketers but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Please, 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 please tell me none of you were none of you were project management and none of you were team leaders. Okay. All right. So, the Enphone 3. Outstanding, prominent marketing, $399, which is more expensive than the last one. But that's that's fine. Hopefully that's gonna result in a little bit more profit. And uh, it looks like I might have been right. It doesn't look like we're gonna be spending all of that marketing budget, but I, I I don't know. I, I think we might need more marketers. I'm going to be honest. I, I really do. What if... Well, we don't have room in this building anymore. No, we really don't have room in this building to put another team in there. What if we put a marketing team over here? What if we put a little marketing team up in this space? They'd have no windows. They'd be kind of miserable in that sense. Which, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know that I'd love that. I'm going to be honest. Uh, what are the, what is it? Environment, temperature, acoustics. Hmm. I don't know. I might, I might put a little cheeky marketing team there. 29 million on the Enphone 3, though. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. Uh, I'll take it. Let's go ahead and throw, I guess, some updates out there. It's going to be the, uh, the updates team working on it. I suppose. And we'll just bring, in fact, we'll just put everybody on this that has anything to do with it. So, everybody essentially. Uh, so we're going to be looking for networking. We're going to be looking for 2D. We're upgrading systems. We're upgrading the 3D. We're upgrading the audio. And you know what? We're going to put the hardware team on it as well. So everybody can work on this. Source control is going to be source control. And I want that to be prioritized to be done as quickly as possible. And I do think we should probably get our hands on a marketing team up here. I really do. So let's not bother with uh, with storage. And instead, let's just do a little something weird real quick. So we'll do we'll do this. And that broke my helipad, which I don't I don't appreciate. Um, does the helipad by any chance? Oh God, is it going to? Oh, no, I don't think it's going to. I don't think it's going to behave. Can I do this and still have it work? No. Oh, man. Okay, so the helipad is going to throw... Uh, it's going to make things slightly complicated. Can I do... This? So I can do that. That's fine. Okay. Can I then do this? No. So that's not fine. Can I do this? No, that's not fine either. All right. 
What about this? Nope, can't do that either. Uh, what about this? That's fine. Okay, so the, the helipad has to be outlined, is what we're discovering. So essentially, I guess that's okay. Yeah, so that's okay. That's, that's fine. Can I make these into one room? Yes. Okay, so that's fine as well. So what I'm going to do, I guess, is we'll have a marketing team leader with an office there. And I guess that's that's just the way it's going to be. I'm slightly tempted to just make this uh, this room look a little bit weirder because that is something we can kind of do and ever so slightly get away with here. So let's do this real quick. Let me merge those two. Can I merge these ones as well? I absolutely can. Okay. So we'll do we'll do that. And we will cut in here and make that a part of that central space. And basically, yeah, basically this marketing space is going to be kind of weird. We'll do a, a nice big double door there. We'll do a little single door there for access to this space. And then we'll do, I guess, a regular door for the team leader. And we'll do a little bit of, you know, privacy glass just there and there. So that the leader does have some windows out of his office, but obviously they don't look outside and nothing in here is going to. Bit of a weird space for a marketing team. I'll be honest. It is it is a bit of a weird one, but it's it's just what we're gonna be doing. It's just how things are gonna have to be. And as the sun rises, we can see this miserable looking marketing room, which is well and truly miserable looking, but there's not a whole lot I can do about that. I'm not putting windows on this top floor, so it's it's gonna have to just be what it be, essentially. That's that's how I'm looking at it. Now what we can do here is, you know, we've got plenty of lights, we've got plenty of TVs, we've got plenty of, you know, paintings and some plants. So hopefully that's going to help. But what I'm going to do is go to manage teams and I've been pointed out this little button here. The copy button exists. I, I may have forgotten about that. So here's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to copy marketing day. We're going to call it uh, marketing two day <laughs> that's yeah, yeah. creative name i know uh <laughs> we're gonna copy these guys we're gonna go marketing two night i know it's really quite revol revolutionary naming here uh and in theory everything has been copied so what i'm gonna do with those guys is i'm gonna assign them to uh to these rooms here I'm going to say that this room is obviously specifically, if I can select it, which it doesn't want to let me do for some reason, uh, if I can select this room, it is going to be for leaders. And then essentially we just need to go hire people that can run these, uh, run these, these marketing teams. So let's go and grab ourselves marketing to day, which whatever, we don't need to filter by compatibility, I guess. Uh, we're looking for lead and we're looking for service i suppose so let's uh let's let's see what we can do hr is kind of the main focus but we'll we'll be all right let's also try and not get people that are sick so let's begin looking and we're looking for let's see we're not looking for you we are looking instead for marketing uh today skill wise hr automation socialization marcel simmons you are hired and then dina peters i am just going to grab you for i guess marketing uh to night so marketing uh to night right there you are hired and if i go to both of those teams now and i go to employees and i go to uh change roles we can auto roll you and it puts you in support that's not what i was looking for at all uh leader there we go so that's now been situated marketing tonight is going to be the same kind of thing so change roles. We're going to say uh, service and lead. So now you are heading that up. And both those teams should, in theory, start. Yeah, there we go. They're filling up a little bit. Uh, I also said 21. There's there's 20 people. How many desks do I have in here? 16. Okay. Well, that that's uh, <laughs> it's a bit of a problem, actually. That's, that's a bit of a problem. We, we need four. We need four more of these. I'm not sure where I'm going to get them. But I'm going to have to figure it out. Uh, so duplicate you. I'll put you there. So that's one. Uh, 
Let's see. Can I get can I get three more? Uh let's see. We could do I guess we could go there. That's 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 two. That's three. And four. And what I'll do is I'll grab these desks here and we'll just move them against the wall a little bit and that should be all right. So we'll put them like there. We'll move this. Uh, we'll keep the TV there. Actually, that's fine. And I guess I should probably put some room dividers between a lot of this. That probably wouldn't be a terrible idea. In fact, I want to move these ones. I don't want to move the lamp and I want to just put them like there and uh, we'll just, I guess, delete the TV for now. I guess we'll get rid of a few of them and I'm going to move this guy. So it's in a bit of a better spot, which is right there. Yeah, so that should be fine. Uh, now, some people are tired. Again, no team leaders, so that's okay. And yeah, I think I think we need some room dividers. So let's very quickly do that. Oh, wow. N Phone 3 just went up to 31 million. Okay. All right. It's, it seems like it's doing pretty well for itself, huh? That's uh, That's not bad at all. Hopefully it continues to sell. The update's done as well, so we'll push that out and that'll keep the customers even happier. Let's also prioritize support on that thing and see what happens. And we should actually see our new marketing team come in here as well, which is beautiful news because it means that we should be able to max out the end phone marketing a little bit. Now, spending $350,000 on it might be excessive, but we'll find out. Uh, these guys, at the very least, are all here. So that's good. They can uh, do their thing. They're probably going to be quite miserable in there, but uh, it is helping with that good old end phone marketing there. So let's see what happens when we spend three hundred and fifty thousand dollars on on marketing for one product. I actually have no. What, am I being? Oh my god! Why am I being? Why am I being robbed? Oh, they left empty-handed. Okay, so that's fine. And it looks like we have absolutely just spent that uh, that money. So this team here, let's also assign them to the end box or the inbox, and they can uh, they can do some stuff with that. Interesting that there's none of them here. I'm assuming they've gone for a meeting, but that's whatever. Hopefully they'll be back. I'm not 100% sure that I love the idea of them just sort of running off and uh, going to a meeting in another another building, but okay, to each their own, I suppose. And uh, yeah, N Phone 3 marketing is now unavoidable. So all in all, we're doing pretty good. And looking at it, Horse Simulator 5, January 2014 is the first release we're seeing from all of this. Looking at this guy, it is still aiming for February 22. Captain Murder Stab is still aiming for November 2017. We have the Vector Team aiming for May 2018. We have the Vertex team aiming for June 2019 and the Amplitude team aiming for September 2020. So at the very least, we're going to have some yearly releases and hopefully some of those dates will be brought forward and hopefully some of those dates will, uh, some of those processes will speed up a little bit. So I don't know about you, but I would consider that a pretty successful couple of months for Nerdrasoft. Enphone 3 making $30 million a month right now is ridiculous. I don't think we've had anything that has been that successful. So hopefully that means that we can turn around and have something like Doors end up being hugely successful because it's going to have everything anyone could ever want. And we're essentially doing the same thing with Vector, with Vertex, and with Amplitude as well. But you can see what's going on. You know what these cinematic shots mean at the end of a video. That is going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure, as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Buh bye bye